Your next comedian goes by Pat Chanson, everybody. Yeah, so uh, I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Anybody else here have OCD? Yeah. All right, I counted four people. If we could get two more to get to a multiple of three, that'd be great. <laughs> I do have OCD. It's a psychological disorder. People still don't have a firm grasp on psychological disorders or how to talk to people with them. People will say things to me like, well, come on, Pat, you know what's all in your head, right? You know what's all in your head. Yeah, it's a psychological disorder. <laughs> That's exactly where it's located. If I ever have a broken leg, I'll come to you to figure out the source of my problem. Because I have OCD, I do weird things. I recognize that they're weird, but I still can't stop doing them. As a result, people will say things like, well, come on, why don't you just go over it? Why don't you stop? Why don't you just get over it? Nobody ever takes that approach with physical ailments. Nobody's ever like, ah, gee, Ted, you sure look down. I know you just had a stroke, but why don't you get over it? Come on, you at least look happy on your right side earlier. You're not like pissed on both sides. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it for the LCD stuff. I feel like we're at a minute. That no. you just <laughs> hit it exactly a minute. It was Jesus. Oh, that's OCD. <laughs> <laughs> another one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pat <laughs> Jansen, I love you. It was perfect clock. that he stopped himself compulsively. It yeah. really yeah. was. I got I to gotta stop one, too. I got to stop one, too. <laughs> man. Pat, you're funny as hell. Right, right? I'd, sh I'd shake your hand, but then you'd have to go wash it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, about five years. Yeah, where are you from? Nebraska. And that's where you've been doing it? How long have you been in L.A.? Uh, well, I started in Pennsylvania, but I've been in L.A. since January. Jesus, man. Wow. You've gotten really good for being in PA and Nebraska that whole time. I did, I did New York a while. Oh, yeah. truth comes out. Yeah. I, I claim Nebraska, though. That's, that's, that's who yeah, I am. You look, I, you look Nebraska. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? <laughs> Why were, you, with that. why were you holding back New York 456, 456? <laughs> I don't know. It's not, it's, I was just there. I'm not, I'm not a New Yorker. I'm just, Put the mic I in the mic. There. Stand and leave it in there because there's a buzz the way that you're holding the mic. The, uh, how long into stand-up did it take before you started talking about the truth? I assume the OCD is truth. It's not yeah. a conceit. It took me a while because yeah. it, it was uncomfortable. I, I, it just wow. wasn't something I felt uh, great addressing. Uh, and then if, I'd say about three years in. Not an easy topic to make funny, but not only made it funny. I mean, quickest to the punch so far we've had tonight. Absolutely, multiple, right away to the punch. Multiple times, and, and it's big the fan exact, of that one. It's the exact seconds. answer to when people say that it's hard to do a minute, a more of a thing. Well, do something quick and funny as fast as you can, because that's what this is. And I don't think people realize that, you know, you have to be able to kill in under a minute anyway if you really want to stand out. Nobody's gonna watch anybody with more than a minute long setup before their first laugh you know what i mean and instead you're firing off multiples rapidly and that's exactly how you do it so if you do a minute like that three of those in a row that's what they call a killer tonight show set or whatever i mean back in like 50 years ago when that meant something <laughs> watch uh, it oh, uh, oh, oh, you're on oh. The, you on the tonight show this week <laughs> uh, i'll watch so married I, I am, yeah. Okay. She's actually still back on the East Coast right now. Yeah. She's, oh. she's like come out here before her, like about a year and a half before her. She's finishing her PhD. You want us to get the stripper back out for you? Yeah. <laughs> come I, on out, Davina and yeah. fart on them. Yeah, yeah. fart. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I, I don't have just release one yet, right so. then. How much, uh, how much time can you do? Uh, I've, I've headlined. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay, so In places guy. like Nebraska, though. Right. So, I mean, so what, what is that, like uh, 11 or 12 minutes? Uh, I did a show back in, uh, it, was, it was about 40 minutes uh, in Omaha over the holidays. I was going about a block and a half away from Kevin Hart. But we, we sold out the place, but Wait, there you 67 people. You competed in Omaha, Nebraska <laughs> against Kevin Hart? Yeah. How many, uh, you said you sold it out? Yeah, but it was a tiny place. How, how tiny? I, uh, like 70 like people. Like Kevin Hart size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think he beat me on the number of people. Right, right, right. Uh, wow, so that's fun. And you were, you are getting married, and you're not. No, married I am yet. married. You just got married. No, I got married seven years ago. How old are you? Thirty-one. Wow. That's it. Ah, uh, uh, I know you don't want to touch. Hey. But uh, no, go ahead. I got twenty. I'm not got, that bad. I got married at the same age. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you're looking. <laughs> you're thirty-one as well, right? <laughs> looking. You're looking at the ghost of Christmas future here. <laughs> Hey, Pat, it's me. Hey. It's you. Yeah. Look, Pat. Look where you're going to be. Hey. 
if I if I can rock, years. I can't I can't do abs at 31, so I'm all. Oh no no no! This is the byproduct of uh, lots and lots of unhappiness. Trust me, you don't. This isn't no. This isn't. There's there's a deep deep psychological reason. I have right. this. This is my own OCD. Oh, okay. Trust me. He can only do sit-ups when he's crying. Yes. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> I thought that looked like a tear shine on yes, there. Yes, let me tell you something. But I can sort of relate to the situation, so I think that's cool. So you can talk about marriage. So do you do this because you can't get in at this club, or you haven't tried to get in at this club? Or uh, This is the first time I've been here. I, there's a buddy who I used to do. This was your comedy store debut tonight? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, there you Look go, at guys. that. Pat Jansen. How about that? A, I'm, I'm glad you dug that part of the story up. That's this great. Is a, this is a momentous occasion. Heck yeah. But, yeah. It went from a 70-person uh, room in uh, Omaha to an 85 person room <laughs> in the Sunset Strip. That's really <laughs> exciting, Pat. And Kevin Hart's here. Come on out, Kevin. Ah. Don't <laughs> Kevin he's, he's short. Joke is that he's short. Wow. Well, good luck. I, oh, I think. Do you work clean, by the way? Yeah, I can. S completely. Uh, no, I don't. He's I, OCD. I do. Of course he works clean, Bob. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no I, I don't. I. I, I hate the term work clean because it's. I don't. It's I think that's subjective. fucking great. But I can. I can. I can do clean or not clean. Okay. okay. All right. I. Personally, uh, I think that actually makes you stand out more right. if you can work clean yeah. or if you can do a set and literally just uh, cherry pick the obscenities out without it affecting the quality of your act. That's something to lean towards. I did a show on a boat for a bilingual church group in Philadelphia once. I made that work. <laughs> I, got, I got to do my bit about religious doubt, and I, got, I realized <laughs> you could tell anything you want as long as you preface it with, I just came back to Jesus. This is how I used to feel. <laughs> And it worked. I got a standing ovation. Wow. <laughs> wow. Great. A standing ovation on a, on a, <laughs> on a boat, boat in <laughs> Philadelphia. In two languages. <laughs> a standing ovation in two languages. Only half the group understood me because yeah. I don't speak Spanish. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, they thought I found God, and suddenly I got a standing ovation the first time ever. <laughs> That's wow, beautiful. that's amazing. That's really now, cool. with your OCD, it, it, is it n mostly just a number thing, or is it other things as well? It's a whole bunch of things. I, I've had it since I was probably junior high. Do you start it, with like a left foot and like yeah, I go like, I go left right. Yeah, yeah. I, I have do. to go left right on everything, whether I'm shaving or you name it. Do you wow. have to touch the doorways when you walk into a different room if you're no, like by yourself? No, I, I've I've pretty well gotten rid of all that. Uh, some of it is some of it is a little bit just trying to beat it out of yourself a little bit too but uh, right so jerking off helps yeah a lot <laughs> <laughs> takes forever to wash it off though fuck yeah do you uh, do you have a car do I have a car yeah yeah do, uh, would you like a spot Friday at the desk squad show at the ice house oh wow sure boom wow. right. there you go How about that? Pat Jansen everybody there he is Awesome. Thanks, He's guys. on Twitter at the Pat Jansen, J A N S S E N. And Thank after his you. first Appreciate spot that. ever at the Comedy Store, he's now performing on another show at the Ice House on Friday. Awesome. Pat Jansen, everybody. How cool is that? Look at Red Band. I know Red Band. Red the, uh, Band, giving back, <laughs> giving back to the little I'm just, people. I'm just amazed. The last, you know, uh, couple times, there's just been so many great comics that just pop out of nowhere that you're just like, holy shit! I want to actually see more of this person. That's, really, that's very cool of you, man. Yeah. yeah. If I ha if I can, I, 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 I don't do know it. that side of you. I think I think Dom wants to get booked on the show on Friday <laughs> uh, at the Ice House. <laughs> Jesus, Josh, you are dropping the ball in the hardest way right now possible. What the hell is going on? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. Put your hands together for Josh Martin, everybody. Yeah. He takes care of everything here. Obviously, he there's doing? a lot of disasters. There's five mics, a live stream, yeah. crazy comedians. And I think the buzz is gone. That, that should oh. never, ever, ever have existed in the first place. There, there he goes, at Josh Martin Comedy on Twitter. Josh Martin, everybody. He, he really works his ass off here, and we love him. He's great. He is great, right? And, and he's a very funny comedian as well. So uh, if anybody's looking to hire a comedian for anything, not this Friday at the Ice House or anything, but... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Notorious comedy writers. Late yeah. late show, late yeah, show, right. late, daily late. show. Every, You've done well, everything. No, I don't know about that. Can't get anything <laughs> earlier, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda keep me. I'm up. Definitely my material is seen after hours, but, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a paycheck. Every week I have the band leader ask our guests a question, any random question that he might want to know about uh, two of his favorite comedians. Pat, what do you got for tonight's guest? Okay, I have a question for Dom. Uh -huh. Dom, you're 100 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have any good stories? <laughs> Jesus. 
Well, you know what's so weird about it? And this is, and I don't mean to, to be blunt with you. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you work, you will never be as good as me. <laughs> no. That's a pretty good story. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Uh, I was wearing my Ohio State jacket earlier. And oh, you like that story? Yeah, will you tell that one? That's a great story. About Columbus, Ohio, you were talking about. Is that? Is uh, I was not always this fat, and my eyes were open at one point. <laughs> I'm, and I take this chick up to my room, and I'm giving it the old schlazy. I was punching her right in the kidney, right? <laughs> punching her in the bladder. And we're making out, and she goes, this is so hilarious about showbiz. We're making out, and she goes, oh, her boyfriend called her. She goes, do you, oh, do, you wanna, can you, do you mind meeting my boyfriend? He's a big fan of yours. I go, what the fuck? Are you crazy? She goes, no, it doesn't matter. So I go downstairs, and I got lipstick all over me. She's all fine. And he goes, man, it's really cool to meet you. I don't know what to say. Hey, it's really nice to fuck your girlfriend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the story was better back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so did I. Uh, Pat. Uh, oh, <laughs> Pat, Tony, easy. <laughs> Pat, what's your question? I'm 100 years old. <laughs> Pat, what's your question for Bob Oshak? Are you Googling him right now? Yeah, that's, that's what okay. it looks like. That's all right. Uh, no, I got a question. Okay, all right. I wrote, I wrote this down. I came, I came prepared. Mm -hmm. So I hope that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, put yourself in my shoes. You're 14 years old, hung like a princess. You got pubes down your ankles. Guy walks up to you and says, hey, kid, you want to make a million bucks? You say, sure. What's the catch? He says, you got to put on a bear suit and fuck my wife, silly. You say, how about you put on the bear suit and I fuck you instead? He agrees. 20 minutes later, boom, you're a millionaire. Great question. Uh, was that, a, was I th that a question? I think you just answered it. Yeah. Uh, Fuck yeah. Let's just listen to Dom's Columbus story again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>